in New Orleans, definitely, bro, because it's, it's rough down there, real talk. I mean, there's not money at all on that, that level, you know what I'm saying? So for them to win like that, to win that big, I mean, you know, you would have to distance yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, motherfuckers would say, well, excuse my language, they would uh, say peace, uh, baby, or whatnot, scary leader, state, or whatever they can't, you know. It's about the smartest thing they could ever did was lead the state. I mean, this state just tore up, man, for real. If they could put me in prison at 17 years old for a person I've never seen in my life, if you could do that to a kid, three kids, I mean, what, what's the chance of Abe and, you know, Stunner or uh, Pete Lassen with all that money in this state? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, but, but when you look at uh, Master P and when you look at Birdman, they KL came on the show KLC and he was telling me that he had them and Soldier Slim in his place rapping to body body freestyling to it. Mm -hmm. So there was a time when they could the be in the same room and embrace each other as mm -hmm. before the fame took off. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this is something that's, he that's, spoke of on my show. Mm -hmm. so when Master P met Baby, you was in the midst of that whole thing. <laughs> Oh, it happened at your spot? No, or? it happened, the spot that you're talking about. Yeah, where you walk through that, through that little trail. Like, yeah, yeah, it happened in that basement. Wow. How was that? It was, it was. Well, they, uh, they wasn't on the level that they on now. Oh, no, no, because they, they, they actually, as a matter of fact, backed about it. Pete, baby came in there with skullduggery. Okay. <clears throat> Pete came up in there, I think, was. Silk, it wasn't King George, it was Silk, I think, and it was seeing one of his cousins. And um, I was up in there with my artist, which was Six Shot and Soldier Slim. Wow, that's, and a, it was that's all, heavy right there. And it was all up in there. Free you say Six Shot, Soldier Str Slim, uh, uh, Masterpiece, Silk. Man, come on, baby. And who was with baby? Skull Duggery. Come on, man. And this, then, a, this is something serious. <clears throat> that's, a, were, that's a serious lineup, man. They were up in there, all of them up in there, freestyling over about it. Are you serious? This was before Baby got his deal. P just got his deal and had his name was out there because of. And they were freestyling on body. Yeah, and and and, and um, because of the ice cream man. Dude, was doing this some Baby numbers. them been knowing each other. Y'all been knowing each other all y'all life, really. Man, me and Baby played sandlock football together, man. <laughs> oh man, we went to middle school together. Are you? <laughs> wow, Hell yeah, that's crazy. And the thing about it, me and Manny DJed in the same club before him and Baby knew each other. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I knew both of them before they knew each that's other. That's crazy. So. That right there tells me that that before the, you know, some Sean Cotton said, shout out, say cheese, Sean Cotton, he said, you never know nobody till they get money. Mm -hmm. exactly. Is that true? Well, I mean, it's, I mean, I can't speak for those guys. In not not just, just yeah, them, but life, people in general. Yes, yeah, because yes, that, that changes a lot. And I mean, in New Orleans, definitely, bro, because it's, it's rough down there, real talk. I mean, there's not money at all on that, that level, you know what I'm saying? So for them to win like that, to win that big, I mean, you know, you would have to distance yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, motherfuckers would say, well, excuse my language, they would uh, say peace, uh, baby, or whatnot, scary leader, state, or whatever they can't, you know. It's about the smartest thing they could ever did was lead the state. I mean, this state just tore up, man, for real. If they could put me in prison at 17 years old for a person I've never seen in my life, if you could do that to a kid, three kids, I mean, what, what's the chance of Abe and, you know, Stunner or uh, Pete Lassen with all that money in this state? What, where were you locked up at again, Phil? Angola, Orleans, Paris, Hunts. So you was locked up with Mac? Yeah, well, I went through Hunts. Mac was on, a, on the other side when I went through Hunts. Okay, yeah, so you never did time. I never just, ran into him. You never ran into him, but y'all were on the same unit mm -hmm, at that time. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and because he's another case that I look at down here. I, I look at the way you guys go through this system, and I never hear good things about this system. I, I, that's why when I come through here, mm -hmm. I come through here. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. And I'm coming up out of here yes. because it's just like you never hear good things about what it is to deal with that system, that judicial system, mm -hmm. compared to the stories I hear just with the young man that was just on here. It's just crazy that you just, you, you, is justice ever really served down here? 
No, not that I know of. Not that I know of. Not even in my situation with me just coming home. You know what I mean? Uh, I appreciate the fact that um, judge and uh, head district attorney, my judge, um, found it in her heart to uh, overlook everything that the material that was before and um, render the decision mm -hmm. she came with. But uh, at the same time, man, it just threw me back out here. I mean, after 28 and a half years, you know, I'm back out in the streets. The city is the murder capital again. Like I said, when I went in, it was the murder capital. Mm -hmm. um, back out here in uh, the little programs they have to try to help fund individuals, you know, is better than it was. But actually, bro, there's really no, you know, no assistance for us, bro. You just tossed me out in this world, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I got to fend for myself. I got to fetch from, I mean, I got to feed myself. You know what I'm saying? Like transportation, things of that nature. I mean, and uh, I don't see no compensation for it. I don't see where they're gonna uh, where they're gonna find the actual bag to compensate us for it. But I mean, they got several guys that came out before me that won legal suits, lawsuits, and things, and they still haven't received any money. So this shit is consistently being, you know, you got man within the last five six years, you probably had like twenty something guys come home that were falsely accused. How did you pay? Uh, yeah, I just man. I don't, I don't like hearing the stories, but I love seeing you home. Indeed. You know what I'm that's saying? The, you look like me, part, so yes. I love seeing you home. I, 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 because some people die in that place. Indeed. You was, you was laying beside people that never coming home. Indeed. Indeed. You know. Uh, I watched uh, a lot of them die. Who's the, who's the most person that you've seen that you ever talked to that had the most time when you was down there? Like, dang, you got three life sentences? Oh, uh, well, one of my uh, partners, uh, wine. Wine had five life sentences. Five life sentences. Five life sentences. He had two, How was two, Wine? Uh, two uh, death penalties and five life sentences. You know, um, he just got come off that road. You know what I'm saying? He hoped that was overturned. He come off that road, but he's still sitting with five life sentences. So how was the conversation? How was his temperature when you man, would talk to him? Shit, man. Real I mean, humble or man? I mean, real talk. I mean, but it's for like damn to everybody that went in Angola due to the laws. I mean, when you get a natural life sentence in Angola, that's what they meant. Literally, this shit just start, you know, coming around with certain people getting a little play, but man, shit. You talking about guys laying next to you 50 years on the books, 40 years on the books. I'm talking about literally ain't going nowhere. Ain't got no chance of going home or nothing. Wow. So that's, that's crazy. And me going in at the age I went in. 17. 17, yes. Yes, it was harsh. And well, how old was you when you got out? Ooh, 45. 17 to 45. Yeah, for a guy I never seen in my life. For a guy you never yes. seen in your life. And if his mother is watching this, if his sister is watching this, once again, I'm sorry for y'all loss. Like I said, I've never seen your kid in my life, and the case now proves that. Wow. Uh, so, for a case like that, when you would come up for parole, or well, you know, when, when you would come up, say they thought when you was about to get out, or if it was any chance of you getting out, were they campaigning against you? There was no parole. Only reason I got lucky and had parole eligibility because I was a juvenile. Due to me being a juvenile, I had um, parole eligibility came around in like 20, 2018 for me. You know, so uh, with that being said, I didn't want to uh, go on a parole board because I understood my lawyer explained to me that I would have to, you know, yes, you're going to have to admit guilt. Man, that's no way in the world. Mm. That's no way in the world. Not even to go on. And I'm knowing I've been down for a while. That's that what you were talking yeah. about. Yeah, yes. but you know how many people do that yes. just because yes. they want to go home to see their kids? Yes, I don't watch this. Did you have kids? Time. Man, yes, I have one daughter. Yes. Um, before yes. you yes. went in? Yes, she was three months when I went to, when I got incarcerated. Yes. How did that feel being Man, that away from That's her? That's the worst. That's the worst. You know. Did I she come stand. visit? Yeah, I did. Yeah, she regular, regular, regular until she went into the service. You know, she went to Houston College. Right now, she's still out there in Houston. I just come from out there, Siena, so. You know, I had my first grand grandkid. Grandkid. I yeah. seen it on your, on your yeah, page. Yes, yes, yes. My little guy, bro. So, uh, wow. Congrats, yeah, man. Yeah, I That's, appreciate that. Because one thing I always would say, um, it's hard it's hard for a um, person to um, raise their child from behind prison doors. Because mm -hmm. just like I heard some people say, you know, you can try to tell them, but when they're out here, they're going to do what they want to do anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, but a yeah. girl is different, though. Girls are different than mm -hmm. boys, though. Girls are a little bit easier to me. Yeah, well, uh, well, men, you know, just feel the need to have their own independence. That's just in, in us, you know, not saying women not, you know. But men just like to be out on their own and be 
responsible, you know. And so at certain ages, you really got to lock in on them. You got to mm -hmm. see where they're mental at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.